The USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 stands as the most advanced and innovative aircraft carrier ever built by the United States Navy. As the lead ship of the Ford-class carriers, this supercarrier marks a significant departure from previous designs, incorporating cutting-edge technology, enhanced capabilities, and improved operational efficiency. Named after the 38th President of the United States, Gerald R. Ford, this nuclear-powered behemoth represents the culmination of decades of naval engineering and technological progress. Its purpose is to ensure that the U.S. Navy remains unmatched on the global stage, both in terms of military might and technological prowess. The USS Gerald R. Ford is designed not only to project power across the globe, but also to adapt to the evolving challenges of modern warfare. With the ever-increasing complexity of international conflicts, maritime security, and the rise of peer adversaries, this carrier is a crucial asset in maintaining U.S. naval dominance well into the 21st century. In this video, we will dive deep into the ship's fascinating features, exploring its size, technological innovations, costs, and the revolutionary systems like emails that make it a marvel of modern engineering. At over 1,106 feet long and 256 feet wide, the USS Gerald R. Ford is a colossus. Its flight deck is vast, covering over 4.5 acres, and is capable of launching and recovering multiple aircraft simultaneously. For perspective, that's roughly the size of four football fields, making it a floating city with a crew size that rivals a small town. The ship has a displacement of about 100,000 tons, meaning it can carry an enormous amount of weight including aircraft, fuel, munitions, and provisions to sustain its crew during long deployments. The ship's size alone makes it an imposing presence on the world's oceans, but its design is what truly sets it apart. One of the key differences between the Ford class and its predecessors, the Nimitz class, is the significant reduction in crew size. While the Nimitz-class carriers require over 5,000 personnel to operate, the Gerald R. Ford operates with a crew of around 4,500, thanks to enhanced automation, improved technologies, and a more efficient layout. Beyond the massive flight deck, the internal structure of the ship is equally impressive. The hangar bay, where aircraft are stored and maintained, is larger and more efficiently organized than on older carriers, allowing for quicker aircraft preparation times. This efficiency extends to other areas of the ship, including its storage for munitions, fuel, and spare parts, all of which are optimized for rapid access. This focus on efficiency means that the Gerald R. Ford can operate more effectively and for longer periods without needing to return to port for resupply. The design also incorporates greater survivability features. The ship is constructed to better withstand damage from modern threats, including missile attacks and underwater explosions. Its hull is reinforced, and critical systems are hardened to ensure that the ship can continue operating even under extreme combat conditions. The USS Gerald R. Ford is often described as a technological revolution at sea, and with good reason. It boasts several advanced systems that are unprecedented in naval history. These innovations make it more capable, efficient, and lethal than any aircraft carrier that has come before it. One of the most important innovations is the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, which we will explore in detail later. IMELS allows for more efficient, reliable, and flexible aircraft launches, significantly improving the ship's sortie generation rate, or how quickly it can launch and recover aircraft. This is a game changer for naval aviation, as it reduces the time aircraft spend on the deck and increases the overall operational tempo. The ship is also equipped with advanced arresting gear, a system that replaces the traditional hydraulic systems used for catching aircraft upon landing. AAG offers more precise control, making it possible to land a wider variety of aircraft safely 
including unmanned aerial vehicles and lighter planes, which would be difficult to recover using older systems. This flexibility ensures that the Ford can handle both current and future airframes, including drones and next-generation fighters. Another critical feature of the Ford class is its dual-band radar. Unlike previous carriers that needed separate radar systems for air search and missile guidance, the Ford's DBR combines both functions into a single system, reducing the radar's footprint and improving its overall effectiveness. This cutting-edge radar can track multiple targets across various ranges, from incoming missiles to enemy aircraft, and can prioritize threats in real time. One of the less glamorous but equally important innovations on the USS Gerald R. Ford is its improved weapons elevators. These elevators use electromagnetic motors to transport munitions from the magazine to the flight deck more quickly and reliably than traditional elevators. The result is a more streamlined process for loading aircraft with weapons, further enhancing the ship's combat readiness. In terms of defensive capabilities, the Gerald R. Ford is equipped with integrated self-defense systems, including missile interceptors and close-in weapon systems. These systems provide multiple layers of defense against incoming threats, making the Ford more resilient in hostile environments. At the heart of the USS Gerald R. Ford's capabilities lies its nuclear power plant. The ship is powered by two newly designed A-1B nuclear reactors, which provide a combined total of nearly 600 megawatts of electrical power. This is almost triple the power of the Nimitz-class carriers, which allows the Ford to operate its advanced systems, including emails and DBR, without straining its power grid. The use of nuclear power gives the Ford-class carriers virtually unlimited range, as they do not need to refuel for over 20 to 25 years. This is a significant advantage in terms of operational readiness and global reach. The ability to stay at sea for extended periods without needing to return to port for refueling means the ship can remain in contested or strategic areas longer, providing a constant show of force or deterrence. In addition to providing more power, the new reactors are also more efficient and easier to maintain. The reduced need for maintenance allows for more time at sea while the increased power output supports future systems that may require even more energy, such as directed energy weapons or advanced sensor arrays. Another benefit of nuclear propulsion is the Ford's higher speed. Although the exact top speed of the Gerald R. Ford is classified, it is believed to exceed 30 knots, around 35 miles per hour allowing the carrier to quickly reposition itself in response to emerging threats or to outrun potential adversaries. This agility, combined with the ship's operational endurance, makes it a formidable asset in any naval fleet. The USS Gerald R. Ford is undoubtedly one of the most expensive warships ever built. The total cost of constructing the carrier is estimated to be around $13 billion, this figure does not include the additional $4.7 billion spent on research, development, and testing of new systems like emails and AAG. When considering the entire Ford class program, including subsequent ships in the class, the total cost is expected to exceed $37 billion. While this price tag might seem astronomical, it's important to recognize the long-term benefits and cost savings that the Ford-class carriers are designed to deliver. For instance, the significant reduction in crew size means lower personnel costs over the ship's 50-year lifespan. Additionally, the use of more efficient technologies like emails and AAG reduces maintenance costs and increases operational availability. The Ford-class carriers are also expected to remain operational for over half a century, providing decades of service to the U.S. Navy. This longevity, combined with the ship's advanced capabilities, makes the investment in the Gerald R. Ford a critical part of maintaining the Navy's global dominance. 
In terms of cost efficiency, it's also worth noting that many of the systems developed for the Ford class carriers, such as Emails and AAG, will be integrated into future naval vessels, spreading the cost of development across multiple platforms. This approach ensures that the technological advances pioneered by the Gerald R. Ford will benefit the Navy for decades to come. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMALS, is one of the most groundbreaking technologies on the USS Gerald R. Ford. Traditional aircraft carriers use steam-powered catapults to launch planes, a system that has been in use since the 1950s. While effective, steam catapults are bulky, require extensive maintenance, and are limited in terms of the types of aircraft they can launch. Emails, on the other hand, uses electromagnetic energy to launch aircraft, providing a smoother and more controlled acceleration. This system is 30% more efficient than steam catapults, meaning that the Ford can launch more aircraft in less time, dramatically increasing its sortie rate. The smoother acceleration provided by emails also puts less stress on the aircraft, reducing wear and tear and extending the operational life of the planes. One of the key advantages of emails is its flexibility. Unlike steam catapults, which are best suited for launching heavier aircraft, emails can launch a wider range of planes, including lightweight unmanned aerial vehicles. This adaptability is critical as the Navy begins to incorporate more UAVs into its operations, particularly for reconnaissance and combat missions. Another significant benefit of emails is its lower maintenance requirements. Steam catapults require a large crew to operate and maintain, and their complex machinery is prone to breakdowns. Emails, by contrast, is far simpler and requires fewer personnel to maintain, reducing both the operational workload and the risk of system failures. While emails has faced some technical challenges during its development and early deployment, the system is now fully operational and represents a major leap forward in naval aviation. It is expected that all future U.S. Navy aircraft carriers will be equipped with emails, solidifying its role as the new standard for aircraft launches at sea. One of the most remarkable aspects of the USS Gerald R. Ford is that it is not just built for today's naval operations it is designed to remain relevant well into the future. The ship is equipped with space, power, and cooling capacity to support future technologies that have yet to be fully developed or deployed. For instance, the Ford is expected to be one of the first platforms to field directed energy weapons, such as laser systems capable of shooting down incoming missiles or aircraft. These weapons, which require vast amounts of electrical power, will be well supported by the Ford's robust nuclear reactors. The carrier's advanced weapons elevators are another feature that points to the future. These elevators, which use electromagnetic motors rather than cables, are faster, more reliable, and capable of moving heavier loads than older systems. This means that the ship can more quickly arm its aircraft, improving its overall combat readiness. Additionally, the Gerald R. Ford is well suited for the integration of unmanned systems, both aerial and underwater. The ship's advanced flight deck systems, including emails and AAG, can handle a wide variety of airframes, from traditional manned fighters like the F-35C to next-generation UAVs. This flexibility ensures that the Ford will remain a vital asset as the nature of naval warfare evolves. The ship is also designed to be modular, meaning that as new technologies become available, they can be more easily integrated into the Ford systems without requiring extensive retrofitting. This future-proof design philosophy ensures that the Ford will remain at the cutting edge of naval technology throughout its service life. Life aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford is designed to be more efficient and comfortable than on previous carriers. The ship's reduced crew size, made possible by greater automation, means less crowding and more space for each sailor. In addition to improved living quarters, 
the ship offers expanded recreation spaces and better facilities, including a larger gym, more dining options, and enhanced communication systems to keep sailors connected with loved ones back home. One of the key goals in designing the Ford-class carriers was to reduce the workload on sailors. Automation plays a significant role in this, with many routine tasks now handled by machines rather than manual labor. For example, the ship's advanced weapons elevators require fewer personnel to operate, freeing up sailors for other duties. This not only makes life easier for the crew, but also increases the ship's overall efficiency. The Gerald R. Ford also offers improved medical facilities, ensuring that sailors receive top-notch healthcare while deployed. The ship's hospital is equipped with modern medical technology, including advanced diagnostic tools and surgical facilities, allowing it to handle a wide range of medical emergencies. Overall, the living conditions on the Gerald R. Ford represent a significant improvement over previous carriers, reflecting the Navy's commitment to improving the quality of life for its sailors. The USS Gerald R. Ford is not just a new ship. It is a game changer for naval operations. Its advanced systems allow it to operate more efficiently and effectively than any previous carrier, giving the US Navy a significant advantage in both peacetime and combat operations. The Ford's increased sortie rate means that it can launch more aircraft in less time, allowing it to respond more quickly to emerging threats. This is particularly important in modern naval warfare, where speed and flexibility are critical to success. The ship's enhanced power generation also means that it is well-suited for the future of naval warfare. As directed energy weapons and advanced sensors become more commonplace, the Ford's nuclear reactors will provide the necessary power to support these systems, ensuring that the ship remains at the cutting edge of military technology. In terms of global reach, the Ford's nuclear propulsion gives it the ability to operate anywhere in the world for extended periods without needing to refuel. This makes it a key asset in the Navy's ability to project power across the globe, from the Western Pacific to the Persian Gulf. The USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 is a monumental achievement in naval engineering and military technology. It is the most advanced aircraft carrier in the world, designed to not only meet the challenges of today, but to remain relevant for decades to come. With its revolutionary systems like emails, nuclear propulsion, and future-proof design, the Gerald R. Ford sets a new standard for naval warfare. As the flagship of the U.S. Navy's Ford-class carriers, the USS Gerald R. Ford will play a critical role in maintaining U.S. naval dominance for the next 50 years. It is a testament to American ingenuity and a symbol of the country's commitment to defending freedom across the globe. In the face of evolving global threats, the Gerald R. Ford stands ready to meet the challenges of the 21st century, ensuring that the U.S. Navy remains the most powerful maritime force in the world. And that concludes our video on the USS Gerald R. Ford, the most advanced aircraft carrier in the U.S. Navy. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos on naval technology and military power. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.